Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have something very special. Continuing the Your Vans theme, but this one's a little bit different. Have a look at this. It's a splitty, the original transporter. I am so pleased to be able to see this today. So, don't know an awful lot about it myself, so I'm going to introduce you to Dean. Dean? How you doing? I'm good, not so nice bad yourself. How yeah. you doing Steve? Yeah, welcome to it. This is uh, the original split screen. Brilliant. Tell me about it. Do one better, Steve. Let's go for a drive, shall we? Let's do go. It. You ready? Let's go. So she's a little beauty. How long have you had her? So I've had, so she's called Frankie. Frankie was um, named by the previous owners. So the previous owners run a wedding hire business and absolutely amazing couple, had, had loads of classic Volkswagens and the Samba was their pride and joy. Anyway, they, um, they decided to move on from the business and I took Frankie on about four, four and a half years ago now it was. And I, I sort of made a promise to the, to the previous owners that I would keep Frankie's heritage going, keep the classic name, the original name, not rebrand and not change the color, just keep everything as, as it should be. The van lives in storage. I, I keep it in dry storage. We don't take it out very often. Do you and do weddings in it still? Oh, we do the occasional wedding for, for friends and family and, and sort of close people that we know, but uh, it's better just to keep it locked away and, and, and keep it looking pretty. But um, yeah, no, we, we love it and we do want other people to enjoy it as well, which is, so we get it out when we can. We take people out for ride alongs and, you know, friends, children and, and friends who have loved the, the image and the look of these vans. They're, they're such an icon now. And, Absolutely. And, uh, what year is she? So she's 1963. She's a Samba. They call it the Samba. It's a 23 window deluxe model. And it, it is a transporter fundamentally. And it's where transporters uh, began. As we talked about in, in our previous video, we, we talked about back in the 1950s when these vans were used as commercial vehicles, same as our current transporter is today. And um, a lot of them were used as school buses. So these ones with all the windows and all the sunroofs and all, all of that kind of thing were used as school buses, especially typically in sort of Germany and America even. Wow, um, I never knew that. Yeah, they, they used the good ventilation, good light, windows open, all the sort of snotty kids in the back. Uh, so they had all the, the rows of seats in the rear and then it's only as times developed that our sort of more modern tastes have put interiors in such as has been put in this one with the, the champagne and the brown colors. Um, and then turned into campers. So this one's got a bed in the back, but with all the glass, it wouldn't suit being a camper van. No. Uh, it's, it's more about keeping the heritage alive and, and keeping it running is, <laughs> for me, is one of those things that it's a real labor of love. I probably spend more time tinkering with the engine and, <laughs> and, and the brakes and keeping everything mechanically sound than, than I do actually driving it. So keeping her running then, what, what does she run on? What engine has she got? So she's running on a 1600 air-cooled. It's an original stock single port with a carburetor on the top. It's a really reliable engine and it's a really sort of classic way of, of having an engine running and without getting too technical, they are very simple for the sort of home mechanic or hobbyist to, to maintain one of these vans. I spent sort of three or four years learning about the engines in these vans from, from really good friends of mine who didn't mind the phone call at 10 o'clock at night when I'm in the garage with the, with the van saying, I can hear this noise, what's going on, you know? So they're great for people to buy. People, people see them and go, let's buy a classic camper van for, for us and the family to go away in. And I, I couldn't recommend it enough, but I think it's really important to not underestimate the, the simplicity of the engine, but also having that knowledge to have something go wrong at the side of the road and not be stuck there with your family stranded waiting for the AA. So like I say, they can be reliable, well maintained. They are very reliable. This one has never broken down. Um, we, have its, we have our little problems. It runs a little bit lumpy sometimes. And it's all things that can be fixed in, in your garage with quite simple yeah. parts, readily available parts. Um, but that's, that's not to say these older vans, the, the original genuine parts for these Volkswagens are very hard to come by now. Prices, like everything at the moment, are going through the roof. Um, 
trying to find original lights, original clusters for the for the for the speedo dials if that packs up brakes and things like that you can get good copies now good good aftermarket parts but it's really important that some of these parts must remain genuine yeah. putting aftermarket parts on some of these vans can have a significant impact on the value uh, and, and the image of, of the van they're not meant to be done up as such no. and, and modified they're, they're supposed to remain that classic look so you've obviously had it a long time, but you've yeah. also got a lot of other vans as well. The business for us, we, we focus on, on the current transporters, the T5s, T6s, 6.1s. That's, that is what we do. As a hobby, the, the split screen and, and the old bay windows, we do help some of our customers out with those. We have customers who, who have them as um, their holiday vans that they go away with their families in. It's personal preference what you feel comfortable using with, with you and your family. These old engines, you know, you, you could cruise along at sort of 60, you could push to 70, but don't be under any illusion that you're gonna get across the country at 70 miles an hour. It's, it's not gonna happen. The engine needs time to cool down every now and again, and, and you do need to take it easy with them. If you're like me and you sort of worry a little bit, which I do, I'd, I'd be worried that we were gonna break down somewhere or we weren't gonna make it, or, you know, those the, the creature comforts of the air conditioning, what happens when it's absolutely chucking it down, you wanna put the, the heaters on or it gets too hot you want the air con on um, all of those things for me personally if i was buying a van to use for going away and holidaying then then i would have something more modern i, I think that's what i would do but do but you enjoy driving it more than any other vehicle yeah. i've ever driven yeah. um and and we, I was just about to say Porsche 911 and a Porsche has just pulled out in front of us. So, And it's the same with the Porsche 911s, isn't it? You know, correct. they're fantastic. The modern ones, the 911 Turbo S, yeah. an amazing car. But yeah. you get an old 911 air-cooled yeah. and it's just a different beast, isn't it? Yeah, so we've, we'll probably show in another video, we've, we've got the Carrera, um, the, the 1990 Carrera, which I've shown you, Steve. We haven't done a video on it yet, but... Beautiful car to drive, absolutely puts a smile on your face every day, but nothing quite compares to, to the sound of this air-cooled engine rumbling away in the back of this bus. Um, and, and the looks that you get, because you're more likely to drive down the road and see somebody with a, a split-screen t-shirt on, you know, walking around Cornwall, yeah. Devon, on, yeah. and, and that's just the, the image that it, that it carries. So, yeah, it, it does make you smile. We, I love driving it, I just don't get it out enough. But um, yeah, what a wonderful thing to to drive around the country lane to Devon in. Uh, I absolutely love it. Obviously, you know, this is where it's all started from with the transporter community. And yeah, I, one day, one day, who knows, I may well be the owner of one as well. Well, might be only this one one day, Steve. Who knows? <laughs> No, I really appreciate your time today, especially taking me out in here. I didn't expect that. I know she's a she's a dry weather girl. She doesn't like to be out when it's raining, and it has been raining today. So yeah, thanks a lot. No, you're more really than welcome. Really do appreciate Steve. that. Yeah, no problem at all. More than welcome anytime. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching it. I know this is something a little bit different, but let's face it, this is where the transporter scene came from. So if you want to see a lot more of my videos on your vans or how to buy a transporter, then please do stay tuned. There's plenty more coming. Thanks for watching, take care.